Right, Alana, thank you. Well, in Ogden now, the police department and a local family are working together to help people experiencing homelessness find homes. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner telling about one man's journey to get a roof over his head. A warm embrace between friends in Ernest Thomas's new apartment. What's the best part about being home? Just having that roof over the head, getting out of that cold bed, meet good friends. Thomas is no stranger to the cold after spending three years living in it. Bad things happen, you know, wrong turns, wrong choices at times. But that would change when he crossed paths with Anna Davidson and Nancy Griggs. We just consistently try to team build, relationship build, and work them through the steps, hold them accountable to themselves to help them be able to live their best lives. The ladies are homeless service advocates with the Ogden Police Department. They held Thomas accountable until he could get into this apartment. When I came in into this room, it was just the bed. The advocates reached out to this family. When the snow melts, they often spend their day outside, sorting through donations. Many times the, the problem behind the homelessness is mental illness or addiction. Last year, when the family learned about the magnitude of homelessness in Ogden, they got to work. My wife is a, is a doer and immediately she went out and started buying stuff. They created Do Good Today. The friends we have for Do Good Today, they are right on it. As soon as my dad posts something that says we need something, they're on it. And then we get this. Donations that filled up a garage, a basement, and a storage unit. Donations that helped Thomas get back on his feet. They got me a lot. Straight up furnaces place. Acts of compassion Thomas never expected from strangers turned friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all you've done. In Ogden, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.